really been good and trying to like transition it into more more like uh focused i don't know what the right word is but so it's it's been like a good transition in the right time and just us being friends yeah and it's uh that old saying everything happens for a reason because i legitimately would not have found you guys if it wasn't for the whole coronavirus thing going on and being on my phone and trying to network with other podcasters and then on top of that um you know, shout out to Harrison again because he, you got you're you're the one telling me on how exactly to edit the podcast with being remote, you know, and getting other audio tracks and stuff like that involved. Because I'm just like, I have no idea how to do that. This is my first, you know, remote <laughs> podcast, and he's giving me tips and pointers. So I appreciate that too. Yeah. So, um, what other kind of um. What what are some of the things that you wish you knew back then that you know now that you could have used or maybe um, do you guys ever think about changing up the podcast in the sense of uh, what you what topics you guys are going to cover or, you know, has it always been just strictly about movies because that's just kind of what you guys are into? Um, we talked about, you know, Kelton and I are really into sports. We've you know we're big jazz fans, and so we we like and you know, Utah football that. fans. What's that? Yeah, Utah football Utah is my football number one too, passion, yeah. but but yes. yes, I love the jazz as well. <laughs> we're like we're, we we love talking about sports and stuff, and so we talked about you know maybe me and Kelton going and making a little episode about you know it's, you know the sports of what's going on right now, and I can't remember any other, any other ones, but that's the first thing that came off of my head, but. It's hard to do right now because sports are at, are at a standstill at this point. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say uh, that would have been a little bit rough. You guys got a podcast <laughs> on all the sports and all of a sudden all the sports are dead. And you're like, what are we going to talk about? I don't know some of the drafts. <laughs> like uh, no. People have like mock drafts going on. But other than that, it's like. I know, I've, I've read like a hundred different mock drafts because it's all I have. You know, like I don't know if you guys have watched uh and then the new documentary that just came out of The Last Dance with the Chicago Bulls and Michael Jordan in 1998. But, man, it's, like, keeping me alive in quarantine because no sports is tough for me. It's, like, my lifestyle, you know? Yeah, That's I think hilarious. part of the thing I miss about sports is is that the – it's just kind of like that banter, even though you kind of get in arguments with random people on Twitter and stuff. It's kind of fun just getting back and forth, and this brought, brought that banter up a little bit, and it's like, gosh, that feels good, you know, talking trash. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, in terms of podcasts, um, if anything, something I wish I could have told my past self, I would really say like um, me being able to focus more and like get organized sooner uh, because I mean, it, it was really cool starting like this whole thing out. There was a lot of excitement, you know, like recording your first podcast and uploading them and stuff, um, but Right now, since we have been really kind of focused and set goals and we have certain expectations, it's been a lot of fun. Like, I've been really, really pumped, and I'm a lot more motivated to work, you know, spend more time outside of just recording, but actually work on the podcast itself. So I would say, um, if there was anything, I mean, I can't really think of anything bad um, other than, like... (laughs) Just like our format, we were kind of awkward. Like the first episode, we didn't know what to say, but... A lot of dead space. (laughs) There were a lot of yeah. awkward pauses but, between each other. It's like, yeah. uh, all right, I'm, I'm talking now. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, other than that, I would just say being getting organized and on track and in a more, like, not serious note, but kind of more focused way just so we could get this up and going sooner. And that's at least from my perspective. I would have told myself, like, how good this is for me. Like, I'm really, like, I have, like, a creative brain and, like, like I said, I do sales, and, like, if anybody's in sales, like, good for you. I have so much respect for you guys because that is not the easiest thing in the world to be uh, doing sales. It's it's tough sometimes, and, like, it's, like, really draining on me as, like, a person to, like – I mean, I like, I do it, and I'm really, really grateful for my job, and I don't want to sound like, like I'm not grateful because I am, but, like, I do it for my family, and I do it because, like, it gives me the financial security I need, but like, that's it. Like I don't enjoy it. Like as soon as I'm like, finally, like I can do what I actually want. And so like, it's good for me to like have an Avenue where I can pursue things that I'm actually more excited about, but like where, 
what I'm doing is so much more fun. And it's not just like, oh, like, here's something I have to do. It's like, here's something I'm excited to do. And like how it's affected like my mental health for back of, lack of better words not that like it's bad but whatever it was but like just how good it's been for me to consistently have fun with my buddies that i wasn't doing before like i i don't think before we started the podcast that we'd hung out in forever like we did every once in a while but it was never consistent and now you got something to look forward to oh yeah yeah every week you need that you need that creative outlet um i, I mean just like you said previously when i asked um what's the what's the big picture and you said obviously is to kind of have this be your main source of income and kind of just do this because who doesn't want to do something that they love um i i mentioned this in a few of my podcasts there's sometimes because i usually try to set it out for once a week sometimes i miss a week only because sometimes it starts to feel like work and I don't ever want it to feel like work because the minute it feels like work, it's not going to be any more fun and I don't want to do it anymore. So I give myself a, you know, I give myself a break and stuff, but it's cool that you guys have each other to kind of uh, keep each other in check and kind of hold each other accountable. Like, hey, this week we got, you know, whatever, whatever it is. So I like that. Um, what was the podcast when it first started out? Like what kind of changes have you guys, like my podcast has transitioned into a whole bunch of things. I wanted it to be a Joe Rogan like podcast where I, you know, interviewed somebody positive doing something positive for hours. Didn't work that way. And then I ran out of guests because it's really hard to find guests who want to talk that long and about something positive. So what kind of, so it led me to the format that I have now, but what kind of format did you guys have in the beginning where you're like, I, I much, you know, kind of evolved to what it is today. I, I it was like pretty formatted at the beginning. Like most of the segments we've just made like minor tweaks to like, I know we had two cents. I know we had binge points and fall in. Cause I remember like our first podcast, we were sitting out. It was actually at my parents' house in their backyard at night. It was dark. Our wife, my, my kids and my wife were like, come on, let's go home. It's late. And we were like trying to come up with names <laughs> for these segments, like funny names. So like, I remember they were there from the beginning, uh, but we were just, like, it was pretty segmented. We made kind of minor tweaks, but we were just bad at it. Like, we just, <laughs> we like, I mean, we've talked, like Kelton said, we, like, we just talked about things like this when we had nothing to do. But, like, when we suddenly were like, hey, let's have a conversation, it's like, we just forgot how to talk to each other. It was, it was so funny. <laughs> I, yeah, I go back really, and, like, really pressured, like, i got to be very formal and really interesting when I say stuff. It's got to be super <laughs> funny in everything I say. And so, I think I started, I was the first one to start the two cents for that first podcast. And all I said was gibberish. Like, you go back and listen to that, it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, I, I think... Um, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, what was the question again? Oh, my gosh, I already forgot. Just uh, just on stuff <laughs> like that that's changed or how the podcast has evolved oh, okay. from when I, I, first... I, you know, you uh, one of you guys said there was a lot of dead space because you guys didn't know who was mm-hmm. going to talk or who wasn't. Yeah, I, I think... For me, at least, I mean, the structure has been pretty similar since we've started. Uh, but I feel like for me, when the episodes are really awesome, is when we kind of break free of, okay, all right, now we got to talk about this. This is my favorite scene. Like, this is something cool I noticed, and now I'm going to talk about falling. But it, and this is kind of what our hope was from the the beginning of that. We just ha- we just talk. And we kind of forget that we're recording or even in a podcast. We're just having fun. Like, oh, do you remember that one? Oh, that sucked. Dude, you're terrible. Like, that's a terrible, like, opinion or whatnot. And and that's when I've really, like, loved doing the podcast. But also when I felt like um, it's just been fun to listen to. Like, fun for listeners. And even just to go back and listen to certain jokes. Like, even now we have, like, certain recordings that uh, that are, like, almost quotable, you know, that, that they're just fun to talk about. And, and I feel like that when we can get into that discussion is what really kind of helps us enjoy it that much more. And I feel like make our content much better to, yeah. to listen to. I think that, yeah, I think the biggest change was just how, cause we were stiff in, in behind the mic and I think that's a change that changes the most, but also just the transitions and being more easygoing. Cause we were so nervous of like, is anyone going to listen to us? And then we started seeing people that actually was listening, and it's like, okay, all right. We, Get a little boost of confidence. Like, I remember there was one 
I think she was one of she, they're one of the people that actually won a free movie this recently and they told us that they were listening to the podcast with their friend and they loved hearing the banter that we were going through and it's like really that is that was <laughs> so surprising it was like no way <laughs> Yeah, that... yeah. I, I think one thing is that's been good for us is that we've kind of just realized just to be ourselves um, on this podcast. Like we all we're all different for a reason. Like, you know, if we want to make a certain joke, just do it. And if no one laughs, who cares? Like we're just having a good time and and being ourselves. Yeah, it's stuff like that that gives you that confidence boost. Where you're, that growth, you know, you get that growth where. It, you sound really robotic or really, like you said, stiff behind the mic, and then you eventually loosen up. You get into the rhythm of things. I mean, the more you do it, the better you get at it. So that's cool. I like that a lot. That's funny. <laughs> what um, so what are what are so far your favorite podcasts that you've guys done? Oh, that we have done. Yeah. Oh man, that's hard. I ah, that's really. I, di- I mean, I'm we've still been, thinking about one. You know the amount of time we've. But I yeah, sorry, go ahead, I, I'll pick another. This is my favorite one, but like one that I keep thinking and laughing about is we watched Avengers: Infinity War, and it was just we got in like a, like a playful argument where like I was saying that it's a horrible movie to rewatch. Like it was great to watch the first time; it was wonderful in the theaters. Like it's well made, it's great, but like rewatching it is awful because they lose. Like who likes to watch? your favorite people lose and then they tell the same like no nah, it's way better and i was like no nah, this movie like i'm not i'm never gonna watch this movie again and they're like no nah, this is like number two mcu movie <laughs> so like that was just a ton of fun i don't know why i think about that like that's the stupidest thing to remember but i've been thinking about it a lot and how funny it was like it's probably like 20 minutes we just totally got derailed like arguing who was right i obviously <laughs> i lost because it was two to one but it was fun kellen kind of took yeah, kellen kind of took my side towards the end but I still lost. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of on the fence in the end, but um, I, this is hard. I have like three that come to mind. I remember one of my all-time favorites was when we, we sat down and we did all of our rankings for the MCU because it was basically like, you have that movie that far low? What the heck is wrong with you? Like, Come on. And so it was just us having a lot of fun arguing over whether this movie was trash or not. And that, it was just a blast. I like, just think about it. It's a good memory, but... I also remember uh, another episode. I think it was Thor, um, just the first movie of Thor, and I just remember hating on it so bad, <laughs> and it was so funny because I think if I remember like Harrison and Cade were kind of defending it, but I was just like stubborn, was like no, this this is trash. I fall asleep in this movie, and we just had a good time just arguing and and just laughing about how kind of silly the movie was. Oh, I. I think about that move, that episode where we where we uh, ranked all the MCU movies because that was just so much fun to just to hear each other's like take on each movie. Like one thing I want to point out is that um, I I don't I didn't like Captain Marvel, and Kelton thinks it's like one of the top ten movies, which is like top tier movie. Really, Come on, not, it just doesn't make sense to me. And we had that whole banter about that. That was hilarious. But the first one of the first episodes that came to my head when you mentioned that question was we it was. We were talking about it might have been in that episode or not, but it was a moment. I think it was about Captain America Winter Soldier. Or just Captain Oh, it's Captain America the first Avenger, the first one. And Kelton, he hates Captain America. I'm there with you. I don't like I don't like him either. (laughs) Yeah, thank you, Jonathan. He's trash. He's too good again. It's not it's not that I don't like him. I don't like the fact that he's like the leader of the Avengers. Because he's like the most boring Avenger. <laughs> but continue. I don't. Respect, I don't mean to cut you respect. off. But continue. <laughs> oh man, you gotta join our podcast for that one. But Kelton, his favorite is Iron Man. His is his. That's his yes, favorite. Yes, yes. Right there. And thank you, Jonathan. I, I pointed out in an episode, like, hey, look, I just realized, you know, you have Captain America, the first Avenger, that movie above Iron Man. And I was like, I thought you hated Captain America, man. <laughs> that that whole I remember, I remember that how that being so much fun and how hard we laughed during that. Banter. I think that was that was a, that was a blast. 
I, I'll always remember what I said, like, cause you bring, you brought up that point in the podcast and there's like three seconds of silence and then you just hear me like yelling. I'm just like, shut your mouth. 